Hey guys, this is a message for Libra for December of 2021. Ooh, nice card. Okay, so in this reading, you are going to get the message from Spirit. I do read the cards intuitively. That devil card was definitely meant to come out for you. <laughs> what are we doing here? What are we talking about? But you're going to get the message from Spirit in here, and you're also going to get the energy work to go along with the message. So our energy holds our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So working with your energy is crucial when you are trying to heal, especially after toxic relationships or from anxiety or depression. Working with your energy is very, very important, okay? Um, past events, your energy will stay stuck around that, and therefore when things come up nowadays, they can trigger those events and your energy will come rushing up because it's not released. So releasing your energy, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right, if you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're excited about what Spirit has to say for you for this month of December. And let's get into it here. All right, so you've got, oh, see, now we just, <laughs> I love it already. We just turned over the narcissist card. So be aware of who's in your life. You've got the lover's card. It's feeling a little bit rocky for me this month, okay, especially with the Devil card, the Two of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. There is a lot, um, this might be a relationship for you, and again, please remember, it could be romantic, it could be work-related, it could be family, friends, and these are, res um, these are, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot the word that I usually say all the time. <laughs> Oh, general readings. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But you've got the devil card, but the overall energy is lovers. So it might be, I, I read the lovers in two different ways. For you, it could be a relationship, uh, and for others, it could be a connection to the divine. So you might be having a spiritual awakening or just connecting more to your intuition or your psychic abilities. Um, I'm really getting the feeling though this is more of a relationship for you this month of December they're bringing to my attention that you're going to be upset because people aren't going to meet your expectations they're also showing me here with this devil card people are gonna try to take advantage of you now we ask you to stand up for yourself we ask you to create boundaries and we ask you to speak what you need to speak and that's the throat chakra so we might work on that today but with this narcissist, this is manipulation, this is gaslighting, this is making you feel like you are the crazy one. And they're just making me feel, and my heart goes out to you if this is you, is that you're just trying so hard to make it work. And I, I feel like anything that you do is just not working. And you're getting defeated, but you still have a glimmer of hope. And um, so... We ask you to just be aware of who you're dealing with. We ask you to open your eyes to see if this person, if you don't know about narcissists, please check out my homepage on this channel. Uh, you could, there's a whole narcissist playlist about explaining like what they do and how they are. It's not just somebody that's always into themselves. They have, they do certain things. They have like this whole strategy. <laughs> so definitely learn about narcissism this month if you haven't heard about it. The seven of cups with the two of swords. So spirits making me feel as though this isn't your only option and if you're sitting here thinking that I have to stay I have to keep going with this like this isn't your only option you have different options but you're refusing to see the possibilities of them so allow yourself to again connect to yourself connect to your uh, intuition connect to other people that love you and spirits bringing through this question for me is that we want you to think of somebody that really loves you, that you know that when you're in their presence, they absolutely love you. This Anybody it is, it could be a parent, it could be a child, it could be a friend, whatever it is, whoever it is for you. We want you to think about how that feels. How do you feel when you're with that person? How do you feel when you think about that person? And then we want you to think and ask yourself the same questions of whoever you're pining over is the word that I'm getting, uh, or going after, or trying to make it work with. And we want you to see the difference in that because with this Two of Swords, I feel as though you, you, can't, um, you can't see clearly, and this is especially with narcissism, you can't see clearly because they're consistently manipulating you. So you've got to remove yourself from the situation at least for a little bit because um, it's going to, you know, 
it, it's going to keep you in the confusion and therefore when you're confused you have no clarity and you can't see because you're just focusing on the words and the things that this person has said to you so you've got the page of pentacles here in the middle of the month with the seven of wands and the five of pentacles i feel as though you try to bring this to your attention or bring this to somebody else's attention and definitely defensive energy here and feeling left out in the cold um this is very specific so if this is not your message this month i apologize but try to resonate and there's more cards coming but i feel as though you are going to try to have this conversation or try to bring it up you're you're opening your eyes a little bit but you're gonna they get you on the defense and narcissists do this uh, i know with my ex it was like we were having this huge fight and immediately he says are we done and all of a sudden that right there gets you to the confused state which then brings the attention away from what you were trying to say and i feel as though that's kind of the energy that they're bringing here to me so you there's going to be some defensiveness so this could be either on your side or their side but you're going to be feeling left out in the cold afterwards you're going to feel i just feel as though you're going to feel as though they don't understand you and there's oh, there's just a lot of pain is what I'm feeling here for you. So I'm just going to channel this through spirit for a second because this is what they're bringing for me. You are loved. You are loved. Even if the people around you, especially with the holidays and family and all of this, especially if you've had narcissistic parents, um, neglect or abuse in your childhood or abandonment, you are loved. And just because the one person that you're trying to get it from doesn't show it to you in the way that you need to feel it, it doesn't mean that you're not loved. And we ask you again to undo your blindfold. Stop waiting or wanting this one person to give you that love. To let them go even if it's just energetically, even if it's just emotionally, let them go and bring your attention to the people that do love you. Because here, and that's what I'm feeling at the end of the month is happening here now that I look at these cards, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Four of Wands. So this is about, like, you're too good for this. You're way too good for this. There is a relationship here with this Lover's card that is so fulfilling for you, but you're way too good with what you're dealing with, what you're settling for. Six of Cups, you finally decide to let go. You can see she just lets go of the swords and she keeps walking. And yeah, it doesn't look too pleasant right now, but it will be as she lets go of all the negativity here. And with the Four of Wands, this is communication. And this might be more communication. This might be uh, creating boundaries but I've but what I'm feeling here for this card with the four of wands is that it's more about communicating to yourself it's more about gaining clarity and understanding who you are and what you want so I do feel as though that is what's happening at the end of the month is you're letting go and you're connecting back to yourself you're connecting back to your intuition your higher self um, yeah it's a beautiful beautiful thing you got the two of wands your own power again you're too good for this you're too good for this stop settling the sun card so definitely some healing here it says um, awards and affection um just owning who you are like power in the sun and followed by the emperor masculine influence and power so please understand that this spirit is showing you that you are way too good for this. And we, we know that you know that, but it's time to feel it. And that's what the energy healing uh, really helps with. Okay, we're, we're going to do a little bit of that. And we'll pull some more cards throughout that. So stay tuned. All right. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if this is resonating with you. What question of the month do we have for the sign of Libra, please? Okay, it says, how can I surrender even more in this moment? And it says, it is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire. 
but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. So today's soul action is know this so deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Today's mantra, I surrender, I accept all that I cannot change, I release the outcome, and I joyfully trust the process. I like where it says I release the outcome, um, I, I accept all that I cannot change. This, this devil energy, if you resonate with this energy here, they will not change. I promise you, if they are narciss if a, a true narcissist, they will not change because they don't think that they are the problem. Think about how hard it is to change yourself. Now think about how hard it would be to try to change somebody else that doesn't even know that there's a problem. Believe me, it is hard. <laughs> so don't sit around waiting for somebody to change because it's not going to happen. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and do some energy work. I'm experimenting on my energy stuff. I've been using the drum. I've been using the bowl. We're going to do a little something different today. <laughs> I'm just having fun with it. We're going to go ahead and work on this. We're going to work on the third eye, I'm feeling, and also the throat. So the third eye for me, it's right between, it's an energy center in your body. Okay, in my book, it's not you, it's your energy. If you want to learn more about energy, that's where you want to go. It's only 99 cents right now on Amazon, so that will go through the holidays. Um, but... The third eye is a energy center in your body and it's right between your eyebrows. And this to me is about the truth. This is about seeing the truth, unblocking our human side, our ego around what we're actually living in and connecting back to our soul and connecting back to really what is happening. It's like kind of like awakening, having a spiritual awakening, but this is kind of more of a personal awakening as to holy crap, what the hell is happening in my life? And then I'm bringing to the, uh, the, to the throat chakra here, which is about self-expression as well, but it's also about saying what you need to say. And especially if you are involved with a narcissist, you're definitely gonna have to open your throat and you're going to have to communicate. Now, this is the thing, just real quick with narcissists, um, you don't wanna communicate that much to them because they don't care and they will not understand. And please, they're bringing to me again here, if you are trying consistently to show them how much they are hurting you, that is no good. That's not going to, to work. It's not going to do anything for you. So you're better off just saying what you need to say and then letting go and getting out, okay? Um, don't try to justify. Don't try to explain because they're just going to manipulate the situation. So be very, very clear of that. All right, so let's go ahead and just do this. So all you're going to do is just listen uh, take a couple deep breaths, which I'll guide you through, and then I have a little sound bowl here, so we'll see how that goes. You can let me know in the comments afterwards if it's annoying or if it sounds nice on YouTube. Um, and I'm just going to connect your energy to a universal energy. It's just a higher energy to raise your vibration, to release any trapped emotions that you might be holding on to from the past. All right, so go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Go ahead and let it out and take another deep breath in and go ahead and let it out. However this reading resonated with you, I want you to bring anything that came up for you right up to the surface. This might have been in the past, it might be now something that resonated here, just bring that up to the surface, something that you need to let go of, something that you need to see the truth about, something that you might need to communicate about. I'm just going to release the energy here. Letting all this energy go. 
finding your true self here, knowing your power, knowing your strength, knowing the love that you have to give to somebody. Reconnecting that. Letting the sound, letting the energy release from your body, release from your mind, knowing that it was never you. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. Go ahead and take another deep breath in. And let it out and you can open your eyes. All right. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that energy healing and would like more of them in future readings. The cards that came out here is the Two of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the magician card. So this is telling me that, you know, with you settling, with you in this relationship, with this partnership, whatever it is, there's something bigger, um, something coming in your way, I'm feeling with this two of cups, something that is going to fill your cup and make you happier than you are in this relationship. And you've got the king of pentacles and the magician. So we just want to tell you that you are so much more powerful than you can even imagine. And with the Magician card, that's my Manifestation card. That's about, you know, and with the King of Pentacles as well. You have this abundance about you. And we ask you, why are you letting somebody else dim your light? Because you have so much inside of you that you can basically magnify and amplify people around you. So be careful with who's around you because they literally want that from you. They, they are sucking it from you and then causing your energy to drop. But you have this ability. So protection, um, clearing your energy. Like I said, I go over all of this in the book if this isn't making sense to you or you want to learn more about it. But there's a light within you. You have a power within you. This person or this relationship is dimming that for you. So do not settle. You are so much more powerful than you can ever imagine. All right. You are not alone. Remember that. And you are loved. So much love to you. Take a deep breath in here for me and just go ahead and just release that and feel the words that we have said to you today. All right. Much love. Have a wonderful, wonderful month. Please hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like this. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.